During our share in the Cherry Each Week, we, we uh, discuss uh, ministries in the church or, or activities in, in the community. And uh, for the last several weeks, we've been talking to the board chairs for the last decade. And then today, we are speaking with our current board chair. So would you please welcome to the chair, Dennis McWilliams. Wow, you have more friends at 10.30 than at 9. Oh. <laughs> They're like, yeah. They were still asleep. <laughs> so we've been talking, so we've, uh, the last uh, several weeks leading up to the mortgage burning, which was last week and the unveiling of the new window, we were talking about uh, all the things, you know, to get there. Uh, the uh, uh, purchasing the new building and um, have a new organ and the renovation of, of the chancel and, and uh, all of those things, that, one thing building on the next. And uh, the leaps of faith that took and then of course the, some debt that was accrued to make all that happen. And then we uh, got rid of the debt. We've spent the last several years ending each year in the black, uh, no age payables at all. Sometimes that's not true on December 30th, but it is on December 31st. I mean, we were right to the line, but uh, we make that happen every year. And then now we have retired the mortgage on the property. So we've been spending these years talking about what's gotten us here. And now as the current chair, you get to talk about now what. And, and first I want to say thank you to all of our past chairs. I have really big shoes to fill. I mean, we've had some amazing talent as chair of the board of directors. But it wasn't just the board chairs that did this work or the senior pastor. There's a team, past and present board members, who work tirelessly. So I want to say thank you to all of our past and present board members as well. As I said at first service, I got a little bit upset with you when you asked me to talk about what our future holds. I've been waiting 10 years for someone to be upset with me. <laughs> That, that, that's daily, come on. Um, but I'm, I'm like, how do I talk about the future when we don't know what the future holds? And there's so much fear and anxiety about the future, especially now. And then it hit me, and I got excited. I remember a sermon that you preached just recently about heaven and how you couldn't know what heaven is. But you, could, you knew what was going on right now, and you knew what was happening now. And that, that got me excited, and I started thinking. I said... We have an amazing space, a safe, sacred space that we have just retired the mortgage on, and we have a place that we are free to come and worship, and that we are free to be ourselves, free to share God's love, free to be God's community, God's church, right here in this space. I said, that's amazing. Now, because we've paid off the mortgage means that we have a little bit more money, not much, a little bit more money to do more work. There is so much more work that has to be done. That excited me. I said, we can do a little more ministry. You and, and, and Reverend Robert just went to Cuba to minister to the people in Cuba just recently. We touch so many places. The, the work that is done here is amazing. That excited me. What also excited me was our leadership. You have brought us out of the dark. We are no longer in debt. We end the year in the black for the last four, and we plan to, to end the year in the black this year as well, but we still have more work to do, and that excited me. We have a staff that works tirelessly towards your mission. We have uh, volunteers in the choir, our ushers, our board members, people who work in the um, social hall. That excited me because every single one of you is a part of this church and what I like to call a miracle in progress. That's what I believe. That's why. That's why I dedicate my time, my talent, and my treasure to this because I believe in the vision and the mission of this church. Well, thank you so much. Uh, we've had 40-something uh, years of amazing history. We have uh, unlimited years ahead of us of amazing ministry, and I'm so glad that you're our chair right now uh, for, and for all the, your predecessors and all those who will follow. We are a great team, and we're just going to keep building. Thank you so much for all that you do. Would you please thank Dennis again?